Today's video is going to be on a prototype pollution vulnerability scanner. And client-side prototype pollution is a JavaScript vulnerability that lets a malicious user add arbitrary properties to global prototypes. These properties can then be inherited by user-defined objects. Essentially, a malicious user can assign properties to objects and this vulnerability could then lead to full-fledged DOM cross-site scripting. So anyway, the scanner is spelled this way. And let's do dash H. And today we'll just pipe it in uh, to, to the fuzzer. And we need our list of URL files or our file for the list of URLs. So it's URLs.txt. And in here I've put two uh, labs from the Portswigger website, uh, which is right here. And I highly recommend this site uh, if you didn't understand anything I was talking about previously when I was explaining this vulnerability. Uh, definitely check client-side prototype pollution out on portswigger.net and there's also labs here and these labs are the URLs that I've put in to the urls.txt file and this website has some good links to what is prototype pollution and even just how prototypes work with JavaScript prototypes and inheritance so definitely check that out and um, anyway we'll pipe it in with cat space urls dot text whoops uh, pipe Okay, now let's run that, and now the scanner starts running. Uh, it throws errors if there's no vulnerabilities. Okay, it looks like it didn't find any. Um, let me go back to the website and get a better URL. Alright, now it's running again. It should find vulnerabilities in this URL that I pasted. Okay, great, awesome. So this is just what we're looking for. Um, the scanner will append uh, JavaScript code to the uh, end of the URL. And it found another vulnerability down here. That's how you find client-side prototype pollution vulnerabilities. That's all for today. Please like, comment, and subscribe. And also check out my website, hackguru.tech. Alright, thank you very much for watching. Bye-bye.